Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Overtime Sims. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my album, The Life of the Kid 2. It's coming this fall. This CD is more than just a collection of songs. It's the first time I got to work in a professional studio for my entire project. I talk about my father not being there, the hardships of me being married at a young age, and me raising my son. A lot of the songs are real uplifting, motivating type songs, but you can still party to. Singles like Faded. I feel so alive. Anthem. Real excited about the single that's dropping. A little bit about myself. My songs has been selling on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, all over the world. People have been downloading my music in different countries, different cities, everywhere. The Life of the Kid 2 differs from any of my other projects because it'll be the first time I got to work hands on with the real DJ Momo. <laughs> Very popular DJ in the DC area. He took his time to executive produce my project and taking it to the next level. Songs like Hustle Grind expresses how I work different jobs and how I won't stop, how I've been persistent since day one. If you know a little bit about me, when I was 17, I got to travel with hip hop legend Curtis Blow. He was the first person to give me an opportunity to get on tour and get an idea what the tour life is about. By the time I was 19, I graduated high school, and believe it or not, I was married. I wasn't necessarily ready for marriage, but you'll hear more about it on my project. Growing up, my father wasn't there. My mom did her best raising my brother, my sister, and I. When I was three, my mother left my father because she was in an abusive relationship, physically and verbally. When DC started getting real bad, my mom took me to Richmond, Virginia, where I got a new experience on life. In the Commonwealth, it's all about money. If you don't got it, you don't have it. I learned to hustle. I learned to grind. I learned to get what I needed to do so I can make something of myself. I was a straight A student. I'm not your typical rapper who talk about selling drugs and selling dope and selling crack and killing people. I apologize if that's what you're looking for. This is not it. My mom did her best for us. She showed us everything that we needed to do to stay on track. She showed me that if I just put my heart to anything, I can do it. And persistence has definitely been a reason that you're looking at me right now. What I remember growing up was living in a one bedroom apartment with me, my brother, and my sister, and my mom. My sister and my mom shared room, and me and my older brother, Ron, we slept on the sofa together. Times were hard, so we had to do what we had to do. No matter what we went through, we always stuck together. It used to eat me up inside, but me and my brother built a bond that's incredible. Today, we're like this. You know, that's my best friend, and I'm blessed to have him in my life. Songs like A Day in the Life talks about the troubles of the world. I work the front desk of the condo downtown D.C., and they keep the TV on CNN. I sat and I watched for like a whole month. Nothing but tragic situations. The Boston bombing, the kidnappings of the kids, and the kid that was killed at the school. And it really messed me up inside. And I figure we all have to show our voice. So a day in the life, it really talks about the troubles and the, and the issues that we have going on. I want to thank everybody in advance for pre-ordering my project, and I also want to thank the people that will purchase it once it drops. Bridge Down Entertainment presents The Life of the Kid 2, coming this fall. You pledge $10, you get a copy of the CD autographed by me. $20, you get a copy of the CD and a poster. Look forward to you pre-ordering the CD. Thanks. That we lose, this is us, this is real. Lights are on cause we in here, we are here. We are here.